We've got major news from Palea. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. Hello and welcome, friends. I'm Dad Joke Cinema, and yesterday we had a big announcement about an alpha test for Palea. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Announced last year to overwhelming hype by Singularity 6, a new game studio made up of a number of creators formerly at Blizzard and Riot Games, Palea is a massively multiplayer online community sim. That means there's no boss battles, no epic loot, no endless grinding of faction reps so you can unlock a new set of enchanted shin guards. Now, I know there have been a lot of MMOs that have been massively successful using that business model, but Singularity 6 looked at all of the stress and competition and FOMO that goes along with it and decided to try to make something a little different. Palea is about building a community, creating the house and neighborhood of your dreams, building relationships with interesting NPCs, and learning about the mysteries of a new world. And fishing, there's fishing too. Because what could be cozier than sitting on a dock around sundown and casting your line into a quiet lake? Last year, Palea had at least one pre-alpha test with a very limited player base of around 1,400 people. Before taking a holiday break, they announced that there would, in fact, be an expanded alpha test in the first half of 2022, but I don't think anybody expected it this early. Also, I love the way that S6 didn't tease an announcement date when they would let us know when the alpha was expected to start. No, yesterday, Palea's community manager straight up said, hey, we're starting an alpha test and invites are going out. So what do we know? Invites are currently being sent to people who were previously signed up on the Palea.com website. If you didn't sign up before yesterday, you won't get into this test, but you would still be eligible for future tests. People who tested the pre-alpha are being included in this test as well. The difference between the pre-alpha and the alpha, according to the blog entry, is that there were a number of unfinished characters and areas, and now they've polished all of that up, and they've solidified some of the gameplay, and they want to test all of that out. There hasn't been an announcement on when the actual test will start, but like the pre-alpha before it, anyone testing it will be under a non-disclosure agreement and will be unable to share any gameplay or details about what they tested. So how do you know if you got in? You will get an email from welcome at palea.com with instructions about what to do. Emails are going out in batches. Usually from past experiences, we know that they send out a batch every hour, but the Palea Twitter account said that they've paused sending batches out over the weekend and will resume on Monday. So no need to keep refreshing your inbox all weekend long. Personally, I love the commitment to work-life balance that S6 is demonstrating here. The final invites will be sent on Tuesday, so if we get to Wednesday and you haven't gotten an email, you may be out of luck this time. Make sure you check your spam folder and the promotions tab if you use Gmail, and best of luck to everyone. So what can we do in Palea? After the pre-alpha, some details and screenshots were shared on the Palea.com blog. We saw that players had different outfits and hairstyles, there was a backpack of some kind being worn by at least one character, and the players could talk in a chat window like in most MMOs and could emote, or at least wave. As for the gameplay, we saw that players could customize the insides of their houses with furniture and decorations, and could even place large numbers of items and little things all over if they wanted. Outside your house, one screenshot in the blog post suggests that you can scatter so much furniture that the area around your house will look like the world's most chaotic yard sale. Cooking will be a complex system that they haven't really told us much about yet, except that there will be a lot of recipes that require many different types of ingredients and cookware. And of course, there's fishing, as we have pointed out. NPCs in the world are the purplish Majiri, a sort of elf-like race that makes up the bulk of the introduced characters. Plus, there's this shifty cat dude scoundrel who's probably minted at least a few NFTs. There's also two golems that we know about, mechanical creatures that date back to the time before the humans disappeared. Oh, right. Humans were gone for thousands of years and are back now, and you play as one of them. We don't know anything else about it yet, but theory crafters on the Paleo Discord have been creating some pretty compelling cases for various ways this mystery could play out. So that's it for now. Did you sign up for the alpha? Did you get in? Do you agree that the sushi dish they showed looks delicious? If so, let me know in the comments, and as always, have a wonderful day.